U.S. stocks closed higher on Tuesday following positive earnings from several high-profile companies. So how exactly did the positive earnings reports contribute to the performance of U.S. stocks? Yeah, absolutely. The positive, new, positive earnings reports have really been the main contributor to positivity recently because prior to this, we could see the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq Composite struggling somewhat. Uh, so this really helped to turn that around, at least for the time being. So at the moment, about 15% of the S&P 500 have reported earnings. So there's still quite a few that haven't done so yet, but we can see some trends. So 74% have reported a positive earnings surprise. Now granted, oft times for many of these companies, their earnings forecasts had already been reduced to reflect some pessimism. However, that's still a bidding forecast, which is great. Now if we're focusing in on exactly those companies, the Magnificent Seven is really driving a lot of either A, the increase in earnings or earnings uh, positive surprises, and or B, the expectations thereof. So for example, according to FactSet, they're predicting that the Magnificent Seven will experience a 64% increase in earnings year on year, compared with the rest of the S&P 500, which would see a decline of 6% year on year. However, this would still be beating forecast for many of these firms, which is going to support the market. Now, to be clear, some areas of the market are struggling. So as an example, Volvo struggled significantly. Its shares were down 8% on its revenue falling 2%. Caring fell around 9% on Gucci sales struggling. So there's a lot of heterogeneity in the market, but some positive earnings reports overall have really been driving the recent stock market uptick.